Um, woodworking machinery is, well, they are kind of a following group. Um, I showed you robotics, I showed you vision, I showed you um, tooling machines and plastic and rubber machinery. They were really the first comers. They started early, they had, I would say, not problems, but they have to face topics which others don't have to face because they learned from them. Um, the idea for vision system to go away from the component description into the software behavior status description um, took them about a half a year. The idea to bring a motion device as an abstracted level from the robotic took them about half a year. So this is something, this takes the time. Time is needed for that. And um, the now upcoming specification groups are really having their already great ideas from the other working groups and can be hopefully faster and more efficient. So this group, Euromap, uh, not Europe, um, Oymabwa for woodworking machinery is um, a group started last year. And um, they are going for the um, furnace production tooling machine for wood. So Oymabwa is of course also a non-profit organization, so we are only acting together with non-profit organizations. And um, they are representing the European woodworking uh, machinery industry. Um, for example, Italy is, is totally represented in this group, I will show you later. And um, Oymabwa has more than 815 companies only in the field of woodworking machinery. So in this specific branch, the VDMA is of course not covering all of the representatives uh, and companies which are in this field. And for that it is critically important to have a more, a bigger group and this is why we go for Oymabwa here. And um, this is the core group. This was a group which started first, where the need was the biggest and where the company said, we need um, an interface for standardization here, or a standardized interface. And um, well, I think, for example, the SCM group, OBS, is pretty well known here. And down there is the sign close cooperation with Umati. This is a perfect example why I said there is an umbrella called VDMA as by the fact that they are doing the, the drilling machine of wood, this is something similar to a normal tool machine, tooling machine for, for uh, metal. And um, for that they were really closely acting together because of course it's not worth to standardize similar information only because it's two different branches in two different ways. So Umati gave their in-development um, documents to this woodworking machinery group and all the way, um, all the way around um, they have um, meetings together and they, they exchange their information, their development, their ideas, ideas and also Umati um, as my knowledge, um, got some ideas from this woodworking group. They have an idea of use cases they want to cover. I say idea because it's, well, it's in a specific state and it's not really at the first or two meetings they have, they, they are meeting about one year and some of the use cases are really under development, but some of the use cases are um, on hold or they keep it in mind. But they really want to go for is the identification, overview of states. So as you see, it's, it's somehow similar. We, we are checking really that, that, not, uh, that different use cases in the different branches are somehow harmonized. So it's not worse that, that one branch is doing a totally different use case than another branch. Of course, there are special needs, but somehow we are checking that there are the, the basis use cases are developed first. Um, error and warnings, um, KPI calculations, which is pretty tough, um, upcoming manual activities, um, energy user statistics, and again, jobs, 
um, for runtimes for a job and also the parts in a job and of course job handling. So as you see, all the groups have in common identification, status, errors, handling of jobs, and managing of information and configuration sometimes. So this is what you can put in a nutshell for all the specifications which are upcoming inside the VDMA. Of course, sometimes a little bit more or less, but this is um, the easy overview. And um, they started in July, officially. Um, they are trying to start the development uh, they, they started the development of specification part one in May this year. So you see it was about nine months to check what do we want to do, who should be involved, other customers involved, should we collaborate with Umati, check the whole ecosystem, get in line with OPC Foundation. So it's not like you sit together and put your variables on the table and say, okay, that's it. Uh, please, OPC Foundation, bring it into OPC UA Companion Specification. It's really a lot of work to do in the beginning, in the starting phase. And this is where we have the possibility to really arrange this collaboration between the different branches. And yeah, they hope for a first draft specification in the first quarter of 2020. I'm not sure if they can do this. Um, but this is the idea, and um, they try to have a specification with a completed demo in quarter three next year. I showed you that already, but this is critically important, and this is really kind of, please do that. If you are thinking about having a companion specification development group, or if you're thinking, me and my company, we are forced to do standardized interfaces in our field, Please first check is there a group inside VDMA or is there a group known by OPC Foundation. Second, if there is not, please get in touch with us. There's no difference if you get in touch with me or with Stefan. Stefan will, will forward me the mail anyway if it's somehow with manufacturing engineering. And um, let's see if there maybe are some ideas already in the branches or maybe there's nothing, maybe you can bring something um, new to the table here, um, but what you definitely should not do, and this is also what Stefan already said, is just start doing a specification, maybe with one or two companies, nobody knows of that, and um, worst case, we are developing then also a specification and we have two competitive specifications on the market. This is what we definitely need to prevent, and this is where the community has to stick together and and check what is running in which organizations. And um, there's also an example for the robotic group. They did the specification and then they noticed in China there is also a kind of university association um, doing also a specification on robotics. So, worst case. So what they did is really get close in touch see if the specifications are so different or maybe they have just different use cases and they are not competitive. But what they figured out is that they have really overlapping topics. And what they did is really to collaborate and now it's really a close cooperation and information um, flows from, from the two sides. And um, for the next part, they will hopefully um, work closely together and have their, uh, the second part of robotics um, as a joint working group with OPC Foundation and also the Chinese um, activities here. There is a guideline. I'm not sure of you are the right people for this guideline because this guideline is really basis information. So there is what is OPC UA, why it is important for Industry 4.0, how can I do condition monitoring, predictive maintenance, um, or OE, OEE um, um, potentials. This is more in this guideline. Um, but there's also a migration um, idea. So different levels, different phases of migration, starting from the physical um, layers up to the vendor-specific information models, where you can see how OPC UA can you, can you use in your production, your company, and what you have to do. 
it's available in German, English, and also in Chinese. So you see, China is a pretty important market, and we are um, working there closely and often together with them. And um, this is a guideline you can also download on this specification. And also important, uh, I forgot that, as a point news where you see always the newest upcoming information, uh, events and so on, which are um, organized to the topic OPCUA. Yeah, with this, I came to the end of the presentation and um, just really to put it in a nutshell, as I said, VDMA representing a lot of different branches. We are trying to collaborate between the different branches. And the most important thing for us is that there are not closed jobs inside the branches, that there are no, no closed jobs inside the industry where nobody knows what's happening from side to side. And um, this is where we have the offer to um, be a kind of a harbor for ideas for interest in developing OPCA companion specifications. And um, Stefan, it's yours. Thank you. <laughs>